good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure surgery episode for you guys coming at you very hot. I'm very excited for today because today is the freaking day, man. We've been waiting forever. How, how long have we been waiting? I bet if you go all the way back to the first time we mentioned making the figures that we're going to make today, it would probably be over a year ago. It has been a long ass time coming. You guys know the saga of the War Games Kyle O'Reilly figure. I've been searching for it and searching for it. I finally got them in yesterday's haul video. Definitely watch that video if you didn't. You missed out on some good-ish. But today, guys, we finally have our full Undisputed Era here today. And today, I'm gonna make you Adam Cole, you dumb son of a bitch. But seriously though, guys, today's gonna be an epic day of surgery. I can't wait to get into it. We're also gonna do a KO fix-up that I'm really excited about as well. And today, I'm gonna show you how to turn your Elite Kyle O'Reilly in camo War Games gear into an Adam Cole in the War Games gear so that you can complete your full Undisputed Era in the War Games attire before we get the official figure from Mattel, which is not confirmed yet. We had the chance, and we blew it! We had the opportunity, man. It was right there in the fan vote, and we just said, F it, I don't want it. Actually, I think I think people that don't even collect the figure said they didn't want it, or it was just completely rigged. I'm watching you, but I don't know. I do not know the full case, but we didn't get it, man. We didn't get it, but today, we're gonna end all that, and we're getting into it, guys. So let's get into what we're going to be doing here today, and I'm going to explain it to you and show you guys exactly how we're going to do so. So up first, guys, we have the Kyle O'Reilly that we're going to turn into Adam Cole. Now, if you're going to do this, you're going to obviously need an Adam Cole, and you're going to need a Kyle O'Reilly. We're going to be using this Adam Cole. I think this is my second Epic Moments version, simply because I want this head scan on it instead of the, you know, the yelling or happy face or the Adam Cole baby face one. So what what we're at, baby face? Baby face? Shut the hell up. So here we go, guys. You're going to need these two figures, obviously, and we're going to switch these things around, and I'll probably just do it step by step instead of just explaining it. So uh, basically, we're going to freaking take this and this, and we're going to lay down our freaking palmerization card and fuse these two together to create War Games Adam Cole. So that's what we're going to do. I'll explain it step by step as we go through it, and then for the KO fix-up, we are going to be taking this, uh, this fix-up MDT Live custom KO right here that's got the, you know, the, the injuries from Hell's Gate. He's got his tattoos. This is the Elite 80 KO, but it does have these shorts on there, and this is what he will be wearing on Elite Se Elite Series on MDT Live episode number 16. Now, tomorrow, I'm gonna upload a video, and I'm gonna just rant because I am super pissed off and I'm super stressed out about MDT Live episode 16, and you guys will get the full understanding of that in tomorrow's video or tomorrow at some point. Because, oh, I'm all kinds of pissed off, boy. Oh, I'm frustrated. I'm stressed and I'm frustrated and it's just a shit situation. But anyways, we're going to take this figure and switch its legs with this, uh, elite, what Elite Series was this? Elite 62 Kevin Owens, I think? I think it was Elite 62. Regardless, we're going to switch the legs here because you guys can see how boring are these dumbass shorts. You got fight here, fight here, plain black the rest of the way. We're going to switch it with these shorts that has the red KO, the white striping, and the fight on this side that matches the t-shirt in the red and white over here. So we're going to get rid of these dumbass Johnny Gargano kick pads and put the laced boots on there because I think that makes more sense. And you guys can kind of see the snow inched into the boots press there. There's a little bit of snow on his shorts and stuff too because uh, this is what he wore on the episode as I filmed it. But anyways, guys, that's what we're going to do. We're going to switch to KO first and then we will go over and we will make our Adam Cole Kyle O'Reilly War Games football game. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it, guys. Starting off off with Kevin Owens. Let's get this damn surgery started before I have to blow a damn gasket. Alright guys, so our first order of business is going to be spread the legs of the Kevin Owens. Giggity. We're going to spread the legs of the Kevin Owens and we're going to heat them both up at the same time here because they are on ball joints. If you guys did not know, all Kevin Owens are on ball joints. we got the white trusty hair dryer in the house making his 50 whatever the hell consecutive appearance here on surgery. This man's the undertaker of MDT, okay? Psych, it's probably the Trusty knife, let's be real. This is more of like the, the Stone Cold Steve Austin of MDT. Let's go ahead and hit this and get these ball joints legs switched. Alright guys, that should be good enough. We shall find out though. So we're gonna take this. It sucks because like you could end up warping 
you could end up warping your damn Kevin Owens shirt because it is rubber material and you guys usually know that we get rid of our uh, I wonder if the boots got heated up okay the boots did get heated up all right so we got that now again, like I was saying, if you heat up the rubber of any WWE figure part, like sometimes it'll melt it, and that is not what you want, so definitely try not to do that. But we're gonna plop this thigh into here because it's on ball joints. I wish every figure was on ball joints. Are you gonna be a whore? Dude, what in the Sam Hill? Who's laughing now, ho? All right, we got that on there. Let's go ahead and switch out the boot here, if we can. All right, got that. Now, this side of the leg, I feel like it's been too cool now. Maybe not. No, it hasn't. Beautiful to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. I feel like um, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that I think Elite 80 is actually hitting retail um, in a lot of areas. So, you may want to check your, you know, your retail area, especially right here at Christmas, man. Maybe you can get some figures right before everybody. So, and I actually found AEW series. Series 1 at my Walmart yesterday. I just checked randomly and they restocked it for some reason. If it was Series 2, if it was Series 2, I probably would have shit myself and made a toy hunt video out of it. Where the hell did that water come from? We don't even have water. Was this water just living in the cabinet? Can you guys see that? You guys can see a little glare there? Anyways, we got our KO fix up done. We'll take a closer look at KO at the end, Brad, but it is time to dive into our Kyle O'Reilly. How the hell did water get in there? That's, that, that's wicked. So we'll take a closer look at KO at the end, you don't have legs now, bish. Lieutenant Dan looking head eye. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to dive into War Games' Adam Cole. So what we're going to do first is we're going to remove the t-shirt, because you guys know we like to remove the t-shirt and ish. We're going to get the t-shirt away. We don't want to burn nothing. We're also going to pop off this elbow pad, and we're also going to pop off the Undisputed Era armband, because we don't want nothing melted. We don't want any bullshit. We don't want none of that, all right? That's not how you run a good pro room around here. All right, so from here, we will take our Kyle O'Reilly and our Adam Cole. I'm noticing also there's some schmutz on the damn torso right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like some factory glue got in right here. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but you can definitely see it in person. There's like fingerprints and like glue on there. It's also got the little shoulder dipsy right there. So this this Kyle O'Reilly definitely took some, He t I don't know what he took. He took an L at the factory is what happened, but anyway, first thing we're going to do is switch the arms and head so what we're gonna do first is just tip this guy up right here and see if we can get all of this all at once now I don't know how successful this is gonna be I'm just gonna point him up like this and then I'm going to aim the hairdryer straight down on him like a damn supernova wave All right, guys, maybe that is good enough. All right, so what we're going to do is pop these arms off. Didn't like that. Another thing I'm just now realizing is if you switch it with the Elite 71, you'll get interchangeable hands for your uh, War Games Adam Cole. But since I just switched it with these arms, I'm not going to be able to do that. I could always switch that at a later date. This is also trying to pop off. I'm just going to F that for now. So popping these arms off here and then... All right, Kyle O'Reilly's head sculpt came off. I'm going to go ahead and plop the Adam Cole arms onto the Kyle O'Reilly here. I am going to have to reheat up the head sculpt, though, of the Adam Cole, which sucks eggs. And I'm also going to give you two different choices that you can make, and this arm's not even heated up enough. John Brown. All righty, back again. Oh, Lord. There's one for the compilation. Holy Christ, his freaking whole chesticle is on fire. All right, we got Adam Cole's head sculpt off and this arm over here. So we're going to plop this arm over here. Again, if you want to have the interchangeable hands, which I highly suggest, I would switch it with the new Adam Cole. But since that's not really an option here today... All right, putting the Adam Cole head sculpt on here. Now, here is where you have two different choices, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can see we have the Adam Cole head sculpt on here, right? There's two things you can do. Either A, you can switch the lower legs with the Adam Cole lower legs, and you'll just have this black tape at the top of the thigh. Or you can swap it at the thigh, which is what we're going to do, and that will completely get rid of that black tape. So that is what we're going to do right here. So I'm going to go ahead 
head and try my best to, because this Kyle O'Reilly is not on ball joints, right? And you can't switch the ratchet joints without cracking the torso, cracking the crotch, and doing a bunch of crazy-ish. And surgery, while that would make sense to do that on surgery, it would be, uh, it's work smarter, not harder, Brad. So we're going to heat up these upper thighs and see if we can switch the upper thighs of the Cole and the Kyle O'Reilly here. And then we will go to the final step, which I will show you guys as well. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna attempt it here. So you gotta be very careful when you're switching out these thighs, though. I really don't, I've never really developed a good technique on how to do this. But I think the best thing is to like get, ah, damn it. It's to like try and grip the upper part of it and then do like a slight twist and pull, but keep your thumb, ah. All right, we got the one on the Kyle O'Reilly. It's like really weird and odd, but you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's like you kind of hold the upper part in in place and then you spin and pull on the other end where you're not holding it in place not a very good description i know but i'm trying my best here because i don't want to f this up because you can easily snap the leg off if you're not too careful oh man let's go over here and see what we got these i'm not really worried about because they're on ball joints this should just plop right up in here damn you so you guys can kind of see what we're going for here. Ugh. All right, guys, so I just discovered their thighs are a little bit different right here. You guys can see these come down a little bit further, and then the inside right here is a little bit different. Now, could you cut this and make this the same shape? Yes. Am I going to do that? Hell no, because that would be really, really stupid. So I'm going to plug this Kyle O'Reilly leg back up in here to the best of my ability. Apparently, the the He's not very damn good, but I'm gonna plug this back in here and what we can do is actually just go ahead and switch out the lower legs Like I said option one would be that would be your first option second option would be the other way So this is what you could do here You'd switch that out there and then take this off and then switch the lower legs from the Adam Cole That's the only way you'll be able to do it unless you I don't know if this leg will come off right here But yeah, it should it everything's loosey-goosey right now now still. So you pop that off right there, take the peg out, put that over there. All right, so the next order of business is actually going to be heating this up while heating up the lower legs of this Adam Cole leg, and then putting the lower legs of the Adam Cole into the Kyle O'Reilly legs once we pop them back into the uh, Adam Cole hip socket right here. And he will have the black tape on the knees, but the knee pads are going to cover it mostly, and they're black, so it should blend in pretty good. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get this going. We're going to switch out these lower legs. We also got to get out oh, my low. Jesus, there's another one for the compilation. All right, good God in heaven. All right, what leg is this? The left leg. So the left leg will go here. We got to plug in the skin tone peg like so. Go ahead, go ahead and pop off the boot because we got to slide the knee pad on anyway. So just like that and then boom, pap, getting that on there. I hate when you get the extra skin, like the extra plastic skin going through right there. Oh my God in heaven, why? All right, let's just go ahead and put the knee pad on before I just lose my damn mind. I mean, we are borderline there, man. I'm almost at my breaking point. Not on the surgery, just everything else going on this week that's got me losing my mind. You'll know more about it tomorrow. Alright, I actually got that with my teeth just now, so we'll just live with that. Alright, got that on there. Gotta switch up the lower leg here. Get the other peg out. Go up here. Plug in the other peg. The peg is actually fitting quite nice right there, which is pretty shocking, to be honest with you, but alright, getting that on there. Do we have enough heat? No? Ugh, damn you. All right, guys, maybe this will be good enough now. I probably didn't even plug in that hairdryer moment right there, but... Ugh. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. God dang. Push through. I'm about to just... All right, we got it. So sliding on this knee pad, we're going to slide this knee pad up here, pushing this knee pad up there, and then mercifully... But we're not done. That's the thing. It looks done, and you can settle for 
this if you'd like. If you don't want to add, if you don't want to put the finishing touches on this, is this boot not going on? All right, guys, so this is where you could end it, you know? You could end it right here, and that could be good enough for you. But if you guys will notice, Adam Cole doesn't have a rib tattoo like this, right? He does not have any tattoos, I'm pretty sure, besides his forearm over here, obviously, you dumb jackass. So, you can do a couple things. You can A, leave it like this, and, you know, you have your Undisputed Era at War Games gear right here, and, you know, you can put it up right here, and they're pretty much all the same height and everything like that, perfectly there. Or you can take it a step further, like I'm gonna do, and we're gonna sand this tattoo off because it's gonna bother me. So, what I'm gonna do is I have three different grits of sandpaper right here. I have 400 grit, 800 grit, and 1500 grit. I'm gonna take my 400 grip, 400 grit, and I'm going to sand down the tattoo area, then go back with the 800, then go back with the 1500. That way we get it as fine as possible and see if we can get it smooth and nice and look the same as this without any tattoo residue left over. And go ahead and t key the time lapse and hopefully this thing turns out all right. Right, guys here we are we have finally done it man we have objective completed mission completed look at our full undisputed era in war games gear look how immaculate this thing is you don't have to worry about paint chip or nothing the only thing that is wrong with this thing is the knee tape up there and also adam cole is not on ball joints so his articulation and he stands a little bit wonky because i i think his lower legs and you know his boots are meant to be kick pads because they're supposed to be a kyle o'reilly here. I did sand off the tattoo, which I'll show, but let's take a look at KO first. KO looks immaculate. The shorts look great with the boots and the tying in with the stuno and stun and the red and white and everything. Beautifully done right there. The fight over there, the KO over there, the white and red, all ties together perfectly. Way better than those boring ass gray and black shorts with just fight on there. Now we have some style. We got some swagger over there, and that is what we love to see. So KO's looking fresh. Probably won't look like this on MDT Live because I've already filmed the full show and he didn't have these on, so that's so Sucks ass. I say full show. It's not the full show yet. I'm still missing a couple things, which we'll get into tomorrow again. But here is Undisputed Era, man. Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and Roderick Strong. You guys know that we did fix up a Roderick Strong. Now, I would say you could use any of the members of Undisputed Era, but the reason that you have to use Kyle O'Reilly is because on the back of his trunks, there's a yellow and black stripe, and there's nothing else. Just the Undisputed Era logo and the stripes, but on Bobby Fish, his upper thighs are camo and he has the fish here and he's got infamous on the back and all that and then on Roderick Strong he has strong written on his butt and so to avoid all that and just get a base Adam Cole in war games gear without any AC logos you got to use the Kyle O'Reilly there but here are the trunks so you guys can see and there you go and then here is where the tattoo was I sanded that off right there it's pretty damn smooth I didn't use the 1500 grit but I did use the 400 and the 800 and you guys 
guys can see the tattoo's gone. It's not perfect by any means. I think to get rid of these little, like there's not any stress or anything. It feels super smooth, but there's a little bit of inconsistency with the color. I bet if I put like matte Mod Podge or something over it, it would, it would look better or if I sealed it again. But overall, man, it turned out great. Undisputed Era boots, Undisputed Era armband. Adam Cole is officially ready for war in the War Games gear, and I think it turned out perfect. I can't even believe we're looking at this. I've been waiting to do this forever. And now here it finally freaking is, man. I think it was a successful day of surgery. We did run into a hiccup. I thought those thighs would just plug in there. That wasn't working out, so we had to do a detour. We had to make an audible at the line of scrimmage and uh, go for the Hail Mary football pass. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for surgery. Before we get out of here, I do want to give a huge shout out to Diego Ucan. I think that's what it says. Diego, you can. MDT finally gets the Camo War Games attire. And you're damn right, Bradley. Because what do we got right here? All of them completed. War Games Undisputed Era. Love to freaking see it, man, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Huge shout out to Diego for that comment. Again, if you guys want a shout out in a future video, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a like and turn on that bell all down below, and you could earn a shout out in the next football game. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line, I've been